All right, here we go. We got a 2007 Dodge Charger Daytona RT Plum Crazy. It's sort of a rare car for what it is. They made 1,049 or 1,400 of them. This is number 1,049. <laughs> So if they made 1,400 of them in 2007, uh, there's probably under 1,000 of these left in the world by now. So, I mean, this one's a little rough, but it does run and drive, and definitely priced accordingly, where someone it's affordable for someone that can't afford, you know, something you look online, you know, little miles ones, 18 grand, 16 grand, 20 grand. So... This one's obviously a whole lot cheaper than that. It's got, I think, a hundred. Oh, we'll, we'll go around it. Okay, I'll go around the outside first and show all the scratches and screw ups. First off, okay, it had a black uh, hammy sticker on the hood that was all peeling and it was pretty horrible, so I peeled it off. It wasn't even fixable. So they do actually sell these, the stickers on online. I think it's like 150 bucks if you want to put a new one on. You can see where it used to say the hemi right there. All right, now we got scratches on the bumper. There's a busted fog light. I do have a brand new one in the trunk that goes with it. Scratches. I think those are aftermarket headlights. These wheels and tires are complete garbage. You look on Marketplace, they have them all over the place for sale you're looking at a full set for under 500 bucks they're out there um, the interchangeable is a Dodge Magnum Chrysler 300 does not fit and the same bolt pattern is actually a Corvette also um, I think the offset might be a little bit different but the same bolt pattern it's a 5 by 115 all right <clears throat> Scratch there, scratches there, scratches there, scratches there. Okay. Uh, the trunk lock is gone. Don't know where it is. Scratches there. A little bit of damage right there. The spare tire is on it because there's only three of these wheels. That's how I got it. Like I said, I was going to buy a full set, and if the car doesn't sell, I'll continue on with it. So that needs to be fixed, fixed, just generic stuff. The sunroof does work, but whoever had it before, put silicone on it. So I don't know if it leaks, but that is what it is. It does work. Alright, so there's the exterior. The windshield's got a crack right there, and it goes up along right there. Alright. Alright, interior wise, this seat's pretty rough. And it's got the original ones. The other seats are okay. Uh, the stereo. It turns on, but the screen, nothing, you can't control it. So it's going to need a new radio. Aftermarket radios, cheap. They're out there. Um, uh, that's it with the interior wise. So we'll fire it up. Oh, the steering has an angle sensor, if you Google it or whatever, behind this airbag here. There's going to be an angle sensor. Well, that angle sensor is not working, which I don't know what it does. But that makes the ABS light and traction light turn on. So that needs to be fixed. Either way. We'll fire it up. Okay. Now, the battery light is on right there. There's a reason for that. It is under the hood, which I'll show you in a minute, is a voltage regulator, aftermarket one. 
because the voltage regular runs through the ECU. So whoever owned this put the aftermarket one on there. So to check the volts, I do have this right here. So right now it's charging at full charge. So the alternator is not bad. Near the radio. But can't do nothing. Okay, heater, air conditioning, that's all good. I'll pop the hood. <clears throat> I'm a squeaky belt, but I'll show you the regulator. Okay, the regulator is right here. And it's basically a switch power that when you turn the key on, it connects with the alternator and turns that on. So now the motor is missing the cover for the motor. It's just a hemi cover, junkyard stuff. A little bit of rust right there. I don't think that's really important. You sand it down, spray it, whatever. Okay. But running and driving, this thing drives down the road fine. Engine transmission's good. She's a fixer. Sounds really good exhaust wise. a little bit of a project but for what the price I'm asking that's within reason I'm not doing any trades this is a cash deal so please don't offer me any trades don't waste my time don't think I'm going to take a lot less when you show up and I'm not playing the game just freeing up some money to fix up some other cars that I got going on I really didn't want to do it but this thing's got to go to get other things finished There you go, here's the deal.